Are you facing problem in designing the test cases? Then this video is for you. Hi, I'm Bhagyashree and I welcome you to all to our YouTube channel Axel Bus Testing, where you will learn in easy simple way. So our today's topic is test case design techniques. By using this technique, you can design your test cases in optimized way and your test cases will have maximum coverage. So let's get started. What is test case design techniques? These techniques or methods are used to write the test cases in better way and to reduce the data and for the good coverage. Let's see what it means. This is one error provider where there are two text boxes name and age. We'll consider age con here and this age requirement is age should be between 7 to 20. So while testing age text box, you have to consider these two numbers. You have to check 7, you have to check 20, you have to check in between 7 to 20 all the numbers. You have to check below 7 all the numbers. You have to check above 20 all the numbers. So this becomes very time consuming yet boring task. If you use test case design techniques, you can design the test cases in such a way that you can reduce these test cases and probably you need to test only 5 to 10 test cases. So it reduced your data and still it gave you full coverage. That is why these test case design techniques being used. These are 5 types of techniques we usually use. Equivalence partitioning, boundary value analysis, decision table based testing, state transition and error guessing. Let's see all these techniques one by one. First one, equivalence class partitioning. Equivalence partitioning or equivalence class partitioning is a software testing technique that divides the input data of software unit into the partitions of equivalence data from which the test cases can be derived. In principle, test cases are designed to cover each partition at least once. It is input type domain testing. Input type means values will be verified in the input field or text boxes. Let's consider this example. This is one percentage text box and requirement is accept percentage value between 50 to 9. So what we will do in equivalence partitioning, we'll divide this range 50 to 90 in few partitions or and same classes and we'll pick one values from each class. So what we will do, we uh, here we have done is 50 to 90 we have kept only one class but you can partition it into 50 to 70 70 to 90 so you can pick two values in between one between 50 to 70 and one in between 70 to 90 while writing the test cases or doing the testing always start with the positive input values or valid input values or positive test scenarios so here also we'll start with the valid values and we'll start and pick up the test cases from valid partitions. Then we'll move to invalid partitions. Invalid partitions will be below 50 and above 90. So you can pick one or two values from below 50 and above 90 and you are done with the equivalence partitioning test cases. Next is boundary value analysis. Boundary testing is a process of testing between extreme ends or boundaries between the partition of input values. The basic idea in normal boundary value analysis testing is to select input variable values at their minimum, just above the minimum, normal value, just below the maximum and maximum value. This is also one of the input type domain testing. Let's consider this example now. This is one age text box and it accepts the value from between 18 to 56. So what will be the boundary value analysis for this? So let's see, always start with valid cases. So whatever is between 18 and 56, you first of all, you will consider 18 plus normal value plus minimum plus one is 19 your maximum is 56 and maximum minus 1 is 55 these all four cases will be valid and this will be passed then you will move to invalid test cases invalid means minimum minus 1 and maximum plus 1 so those cases should not pass those cases should fail so you will have now six cases to test to decision table testing Decision table testing is a type of software technique that examines how a system responds to very various input combinations. In this type of testing, various input combinations and 
the accompanying system behavior are tabular related let's consider this example how to create a login screen decision based tables so we have two text boxes username and password and then by doing the combinations of these two we'll consider how we can write the test cases so see in this ta table we have we have written the conditions on left side username and password and we'll write all the combinations here and these will be our test cases so uh, first of all username t slash f t means true for f means false then password t and f t means true for f means false output means whatever output it will be derived is e means error output or h means it will go to home screen so first of all one case will we can derive is username and password both are false means both if you give incorrect then error message it will throw then second combinations will be username will be correct and password will be incorrect still it will throw error message third test cases will be username is incorrect and password is correct then it will throw error message but when username is true and password is also true then it will go to the home screen so like this you can make tables and easily you can find out the test cases but remember these tables can be derived only when there are multiple input combinations next type is state transition state transition testing is basically a black box technique that is carried out to observe the behavior of the system or application for different input conditions passed in a sequence in this type of testing both positive and negative input values are provided and the behavior of the system is observed let's consider this example this is the example where you you have given a uh, text box for enter the password and password will you can attempt for three times and if you correct uh, if you attempt correctly then you can redirect to home page otherwise your account will get locked this is the requirement so what we have done we will Draw, we can draw here like this one tra state transition diagram like if first attempt is there if it pass then go to home page if it fails then go to second attempt second attempt you make if it is pass then go to home page but second attempt is also fail then you go to third attempt third time if you attempt and it pass then if you can go to home page otherwise if it also fails then you can your account will be locked so this is some state transition diagram we can make and on basis of that diagram you can derive one table so this is the table which we have derived from the state transitions so s1 is first attempt and if you enter correct password then you will redirect to s4 s4 is your home page otherwise you will redirect to s2 s2 means trans state to it will uh, throw you error message your account is locked so this is how you can write the test cases for all your states remember when to use decision table whenever you have multiple input conditions or actions to be taken and whenever to use state transition when there are multiple transitions in your states next type is error guessing Error guessing is a method of black box testing and it relies solely on the previous experience of your tester. The software tester uses their past experience to determine where where the errors can be in the software. So test cases are then designed to find out these errors and to reduce the bugs. So consider one example of age text box we have uh, seen before. Uh, if your age lies between 18 to 24 how you can guess the errors in this you can try with the blank space you can try with the different alphabets and like this you can guess the errors by applying all these five techniques your test cases will be minimum optimistic and it will have greater coverage so this is it for today if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more such videos we post videos on every tuesday and friday If you have any queries please comment down below till then happy testing bye bye